up on stage. We sing, keep clapping, keep clapping. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so give up for your first comic that just met him in the back. He's up and coming. You might see him next week at Rogers watching the ball game. <laughs> he told me to say that. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep the love and clapping going for your first comedian, Peter Fulton. Let's find out who we are tonight. Hands up, who's in favor of legalization of drugs? Come on, Woo! hands up. Anyone wants to have sex with me? Hands still up, hands is still up. All good company, that's right. That's the kind of crowd we got tonight, people. Yeah, um, actually I just gave up smoking cigarettes. And uh, thank you, you ever tried that? That's hard, that shit is hard, man. This is harder than quitting heroin. So I started on heroin, because I figured it was hard. I already won the drug Olympics, right? Gold medal. Woo, yeah. But uh, you think I got a drug problem? You know who's got a drug problem? Korea has got a drug problem. Seriously, I was there two years, no drugs, and that's a problem. <laughs> oh, I had a great time in Korea. It was wonderful. Uh, I had like a great job, a great apartment, a great dog. I called him breakfast. Give me your breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> what are you back? Copy in the back there, you know. Yeah. I just love the new, uh, those TTC ads they've got up. It's got a picture of a pig and a puppy, and it says, why eat one and not the other? You know, Koreans look at that and go, yeah, exactly, they're both delicious. What are we arguing about? <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, they, uh, you know the cops now, they want to start doing drug tests, like blood tests, to see if we're driving high. It's like, come on, man. You think a guy's on pot? Just hand him a bag of cookies. Time it. <laughs> Think a guy is on cocaine. Just ask me, hey, hey, how you doing? How am I doing? Do one of me. He's got some ideas. He's got some ideas. Gonna fix the world. And then we're the shirt. We're trying to so amazing. Think about the last thing. Probably, maybe. <laughs> you think a guy is on heroin? Just ask me, man. Are you on heroin? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I'm really glad that I spent my last two grams of mushrooms. Like, you guys, this is going great. <laughs> oh, but I'd like to. Uh, <laughs> good trip. <laughs> I'd like to now read a little, uh, little poem here. It's a poem entitled, Memories of Moi. <clears throat> Someone must be the world's biggest asshole and not even know it. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. So, any Americans here getting geared up for next year's Olymp uh, Olympics, uh, the election? Do you know about that? Jeb Bush, Jeb Bush is running. I figure why not Jeb Bush? You know, we've had the father, had the son, why not the holy fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and his brother George, you know, there's a Lincoln car. You think they'll ever come around with like a, a Bush car, you know, Lincoln Town car, be like the, the Bush invader? The Bush invader was a gas and blood. <laughs> now, um, but you know what's the worst part about the drug trip, though? It's the paranoia. You guys ever get so paranoid that you're calling the pizza guy, but then you hang up on the pizza guy and then they'll give the order because the pizza guy just knows way too much about you? <laughs> you there? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. That's paranoia. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Uh, but what makes me most paranoid is uh, marriage. Um, anyone here know of a good marriage? Punchline, exactly. They don't exist. There's 120 people here, and if you're married, you're fucked when you go home. But, yeah, they don't exist. They're all like rumors, you know? It's like the Bigfoot married the Loch Ness Monster, you know? There's rumors, the pictures are all fuzzy, no one actually saw one. And I think the problem is we always get married on the best day, in our best clothes, with our best man, go on the best vacation, and people show you pictures of their wedding, and people show you pictures of their honeymoon, but nobody ever shows you a picture of the day they get back from the honeymoon, right? <laughs> like when it counts, when it's real, because there's nothing to look forward to at that point until the whole, till death do you part starts to sell like the escape clause of the wedding contract. <laughs> That's why I think we should get married in the first. I think we should get married on the worst day, in the worst weather, stuck on the TTC, late for work. Yeah. Those are people that hate you. People that stink and stand like this. Bride and groom, bitch, get a little bit, yeah. And instead of exchanging rings, you exchange punches in the gut, and then you say the one thing you truly hate about your partner, then you're stuck in a hole, covered up for a weekend with nothing but your hair and your fingernails, and then after three days, you are let out. And if your wedding can survive that, your marriage has got a real shock. Yeah. Right? And then, and then after three days, then you get the wedding and the honeymoon. It's all paid for by society. Huh? Who's with me? Who wants to start Woo! Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, very Canadian Revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the rebellions of 1837. Yeah, sorry. 
sorry. <laughs> Finally, uh, women. Um, who, where are the women tonight? Can I hear you? Where are the women? <laughs> big fan, big fan, big fan. I've got uh, seven sisters. Uh, yeah, this has been around you for a while. I'm the youngest. I'm the one that they wanted. And, uh, <laughs> sure. Sure, sure. But I, I love women, and, and I think it's amazing how you can like emotionally compartmentalize everything. You know, I saw this driving my sister home. She just broke up with her boyfriend. She's all like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. I just, I just love him so much. I just, I just thought we were gonna get married and have babies. Oh, turn right here. It's the second husband right here. <laughs> How do you do that? From being heartbroken to the car's GPS. But I'm sad. I'm just driving right down Young Street. Oh, fuck this shit. You should, you really should bottle that shit. You take over the world. <laughs> you guys have been beautiful, I love you, but my fear of commitment makes me leave you. So, good night!